And good Saturday morning. I'm your friend, Scotty Ray. Welcome. I am uh, running a little bit late today. I bit the bullet yesterday afternoon, and me and uh, Angie went and got the COVID shot number two. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that uh, I, don't, I, I won't say that I'm sick, but I just really had that uh, slow motion disease to where you just could not move a whole lot. So feeling a little bit better. This is less than 24 hours. I got it yesterday at 1 o'clock. And uh, I guess everybody that's had it, I think it's day two into it where you feel a little bit worse than you did the day before. But I got my motor started and I'm going. Now, before anybody says anything, I know this shirt is uh, maybe a little too bright for, <laughs> for television type stuff. Angie gave it to me for Christmas, had a fish on it, and I thought I'd wear it today. Where's my fish? Right here. But it does have a glow as I, I turn the lights on in here this morning. So if it's blinding, I apologize. So, good morning to you. I do hope your Saturday is treating you well. Already 72 degrees as we head for a high of somewhere around 84 today. It's going to be warm. Now, as you look outside, it's just dark and cloudy. We do have chances of rain today. Uh, as we look to the north, north Mississippi getting some thunderstorm activity on into Tennessee. We'll get all that started here in just a moment and take a look at radar. And we do have a little severe weather that's going to be affecting us into tonight and to tomorrow. Uh, we'll do the breakdown on all the weather, where it will be, and how it how it could affect you. That's what's most importantly where you live and where it is around you. All right, let's uh, let's get to talking about a little bit about weather this morning. Your forecast is brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. All right, I thought we'd start off this morning with radar. Let's uh, let's take a look here at what we've got going on. Just a bird's eye view of all across the nation there as we look across. Uh, right here in East Mississippi, West Alabama, no rain back all the way to Dallas. Looks good over to Atlanta. But if we go south of us, we'll notice the Gulfport. Uh, we're starting down here due south of Hattiesburg. If you live in this area this morning, a lot of fog. And that, uh, that fog advisory is until 1 o'clock this afternoon. That's going to stretch here from Slidell. Look here, it goes way up through here. All these areas here through Big Level, Mississippi, over to, uh, this is going to be Rock Creek, Mississippi. Y'all have got this thick fog. And the further you go through Mobile, uh, Pensacola, look at this, all down through here. If you were on vacation, maybe you're down there this morning. Fort Walton Beach, Panama, all the way over to Florida, thick fog until 1 o'clock this afternoon. Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all got a little fog this morning also. Uh, as we go across and we go due north of East Mississippi area here, central Mississippi, let's step on up here toward the, the state line. Right on the edge of Mississippi this morning here, we come across. This is going to be Lakeview, Arkansas. Uh, this is Coldwater, Mississippi, in the area of New Hope, Mississippi, over to Huntsville, Alabama. This puts them into a flash flood watch. And this is why, as you look up here, Jackson, Tennessee. Look at there. A lot of rain coming down south of Jackson through Henderson. We go to Selmer. We move over to our friends that watch us a lot here in uh, the Nashville area. Nashville sitting here. It's just due south here. Look at these storms that, that uh, the folks have in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. If you're up shaking a leg this morning in Murfreesboro, it's pouring down rain. Now, let's see here if there's a... Uh, Y'all have a severe thunderstorm warning until 845 right there in Murfreesboro. So pay attention. Uh, no tornado warnings, but there is a severe thunderstorm warning stretching from Franklin, Tennessee, over to Murfreesboro to uh, right. Uh, it's going to cut right through downtown Murfreesboro there near uh, New Salem Road there. Cut straight across. So if you're in that area this morning, you got a lot of rain and uh, thunderstorm activity and lightning popping in the area. So that's for our friends up in uh, the Tennessee area this morning as they begin their day. Out west of here, out in Lubbock, if you're in Texas watching this morning, well, you got a little bit of wind advisory. That's the, the worst of it. But Tennessee from Memphis East has the uh, the worst of the weather this morning as you're waking up. As I said, here in the Meridian area due south to the coast, it's going to be a warm day. As I said, 72 right now. But 84, we might can uh, break some records before this day is all said and done on temperatures. We'll watch that and uh, let you know in the morning if we do that before the day is out. All right, let's, uh, let's pull up a few statistics of what the National Weather Service is telling us of what to expect. Today, uh, for the Meridian area, as we pull this up, East Mississippi, West Alabama, showers after 1 o'clock is what we're expecting. And again, the worst is going to be on a line due north of Columbus, Mississippi, in the Mississippi Delta. We'll have these light showers down through here all the way through Hattiesburg and our area back over to Natchez, Mississippi. Nothing horrible, but we will get some chances. Now, it's real dark outside right now, uh, and it's just going to probably remain that way all day. 
as we look into the severe storms this evening and through the morning hours, this is our line that we're going to be watching. Now, this starts somewhere around 9 p.m. tonight. As you're getting ready to go to bed, uh, could be some uh, some thunderstorm activity. And we're mainly looking for a line uh, as you if you go here across Lauderdale County. This is going to be the West Lauderdale area. Uh, oh, somewhere right around Owls Garden and Gift, right along in there, taking in State Boulevard and then going out of the county. Uh, just north of the Ralph Morgan Rodeo, taking in all of Kemper. Uh, we've got all of our friends in Neshoba, Newton County. It's only the southeast corner, Hickory. Y'all will miss that. But uh, Columbus, as we go up through Winston County, and northwestern Winston County. Now, y'all be prepared. You've got a little bit chance of higher activity there. Knoxville is going to be kind of like the same as Meridian and Kemper. And the further north you go, the higher the risk of it. And the, the closer to the meridian you are, it could be damaging winds of about 60 miles an hour, hail a quarter size. When you step up to that northwest corner right here of Winston County and you take in Columbus, Mississippi, those areas, you're moving into severe storms, 60 to 70 mile an hour damaging winds, and golf ball size hail. And you can't rule out tonight that there could be a possible tornado in those areas. I'll be here throughout the nighttime hours. Whatever the case is, we'll go live and chase this stuff should it do that. Now, if you're in Cleveland, Mississippi, that's the extreme delta. It goes to a higher risk if you get on into the delta toward the Memphis area there. Uh, tornadoes are likely up in that area. So we watch. Now, as we saw that in Alabama last week, uh, the area that was hit wasn't really in that big red area that they said was going to do. It hit the ground and rolled over to them. So with always use weather caution. Have two ways to hear uh, storms, whether it's your phone, uh, a NOAA weather radio, uh, or maybe you live close to a siren. But as we all say, never depend on those sirens because you can't hear them over TVs. It, and then on the rural right in the counties, you just don't hear them as well. So that's uh, that's the, the way they work. We'll watch the weather. We will be on top of it. Uh, never to leave you alone. We'll be, uh, we'll be here to walk you through these at night. Now, we're going to have some flash flooding also. Let's take a look at this of what the National Weather Service tells us on this. Uh, flash flooding, uh, th this would be today and into tonight. Mainly northwestern uh, Neshoba County, most of Winston County, and then a little bit there northwest of Macon, Mississippi, all the way to the state line to Tennessee. North of Jackson, north of Vicksburg, all of that area there is a chance of flooding. And that's going to be any time today and into tonight. So be on your tiptoes, never drive through that water that's over the road. Let's look at tomorrow. What does it bring? Se severe thunderstorms, and this is going to be mid-morning, probably about when you're getting ready to go to church, that 10, 1030 area to early afternoon, say 2.30, 3 o'clock, ending in there. Now, the times could change a little bit either way, but it's a marginal risk. Uh, most of these bring the severe thunderstorm warnings. It's what they bring, a lot of rain. Not expecting a tornado, but you can never rule anything out with Mother Nature. But we're the most we're really expecting there would be some some thunderstorm activity there. Uh, nothing to get too excited about, but do expect uh, heavy rain, and it's not anything that you want to drive in. So this is tomorrow, some somewhere around ten ten thirty uh, through after church time to two thirty to three o'clock. Uh, watch this also. We'll be here on guard to uh, to let you know. And this is going to be from. Uh, uh, Columbus, Mississippi, all the way down to Hattiesburg area there. And uh, Wayne County, we won't leave you all out. Y'all got a little bit of this uh, going also. But it'll go from uh, from Meridian all the way west over to the Jackson, Mississippi city limit sign, somewhere there around Brandon as you're going into Jackson. So be weather alert tomorrow afternoon that we could have some thunderstorm activity. As we jump across the state line, and look at our friends here on the edge of Alabama, the Demopolis, Livingston, Alabama. Y'all are going to be in this green area as well with the Meridian area to where it's, it's a, a number one. Uh, and that's going to be from 6 to 10 uh, for y'all as we go up here in the northern part of the state there. Uh, we put that at probably 3 to 7 a.m. in the early morning hours there, getting a little bit more there. So Alabama, y'all stay close to what's going on in the Mississippi area. It could be close to the same activity. But... Uh, we'll know more as it comes. This is just a little heads up. Not anything horrible, but uh, definitely some thunderstorm activity as we watch this stuff. Now, as I mentioned earlier on the map, if you're watching and you're in anywhere from Hattiesburg due south there, uh, Wiggins, Mississippi this morning, we look at this and it shows that we do have all of this uh, fog, dense fog advisory down there on the, the Gulf Coast area, uh, stretching from Louisiana all the way over to Florida. And this is going to be until 1 this afternoon. So, 
Watch where you're driving. If you live here and you've got to drive to the coast, watch this stuff. A lot of those roads are two lane. You can't see to pass. After you get uh, past Waynesboro and that uh, that road, if you're going to the coast there, it goes into two lane. We all know it's uh, in during great driving conditions. It's hard to pass, much less during fog. So uh, don't be doing any of that. Just stay put, drive along, get there safe is what I'm saying. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Now, what is going to be happening with temperatures over the next 10 days? Well, uh, at this point, it could be just a little bit uh, below average. We've been having it just normal. As we look at this, we could have just a teeny bit, teeny bit, as I get my tongue twisted, untwisted this morning, temperatures below. Let's uh, jump forward now and take a look here at what we've got. Record highs and record lows on this date. Back in 19, uh, 2020, one year ago today, another record was set, 87 degrees last year. Do you all remember that? The, uh, the pandemic was just starting. Uh, everybody was kind of stuck in their house, didn't know what to do or what to expect, but a high day on that. It was 1955 that today was a very cold day. It was 20 degrees in 1955. And if we could all have us a 1955 Chevrolet to remember this, I think we'd all be happy, wouldn't we? I'm sure we would. That was a cold day back then. Let's, uh, let's take a look at our uh, seven-day forecast of what is coming up uh, as we look at this. Today is probably going to be the warmest day that we have for a little while. And as I mentioned, that little bit of a cooler snap, here it is. We look at this today, 82, 74 uh, tomorrow. We get into the 60 degree mark, 67 on Monday. And by Thursday and Friday, the high at 60 and 37. Look at this. We get into Wednesday night, those 30s at night. Burr. So uh, a little bit of a change occurring there over the next week. We'll dig deeper into the forecast here in a minute, especially uh, over the, uh, the weekend of what to expect. So cooler weather next week after uh, Wednesday night. Never, ever, I don't think you should put this stuff up until about May, leave your blankie because <laughs> have those blankets handy where you warm up at night. As with all of this happens, you know what happens with all this rain coming down. It makes your grass grow. And if you're needing a lawnmower, maybe you need something done to yours. Drop by and see my friends at Freeman Tractor. Uh, of course, coleslaw buttermilk will help you there. Good, good hometown folks. Of course, they carry Exmark and Skag, and these are some of the models that they can show you there. If you're still on the old traditional riding lawnmower, go by for a test drive. I promise you, the first time I saw this, I thought I won't like that. About 10 minutes later, I don't know how I ever lived without it. Starting at $29.99, an Exmark lawnmower will get you in there and get you started. All the way up, depending on how big your yard is, is how big you need that deck. You can get it up to 60 inches to make a lot of time there. Maybe you're looking for a skag. Now, they start at about $46.99. A real nice seat on them. Cushion goes along. Two gas tanks on them. See the models that offer that. You can fill up in the morning, and if you cut grass for a living, or maybe you've just got a huge place, and you have to mow your mama's and all your cousin's grass, you can do it on uh, one tank full in the morning there. Handy. See them there. They're different models. And of course, tractors. They got so many of those sitting around. If you need a tractor, they've got just the horsepower that you're looking for. Maybe you need a bush hog on the front. That's about the latest. It's galvanized bush hog. Great stuff there, along with all your attachments. Disc, if you're going to be planting a the garden, they've got that. Forks and benches. They make these in Texas. And if you're needing a UTV, they got financing available. You can get them with cab, air conditioning, heat, whichever the case. 750s, 550s. All those different sizes and models, you'll find it all right there at Freeman Tractor. Highway 494, right off of Highway 19 is where you'll get them. Now, as we go back to kind of discussing what's going to happen over the weekend, as, as I mentioned, uh, the weather for today, we've got a 40% chance of showers. Mainly after 1 o'clock is when this will be moving in with us. High is going to be about 84. Our wind gusts will be, again, at 20 miles an hour. Uh, as Candace was yesterday talking about the kids at school are going to be doing uh, some kite flying, this is the day to fly your kite if you've got that. 50% chance of showers tonight. Mainly, we will get this after 1 a.m. So after you go to bed, around 1 a.m. to daylight is where we're going to see that. 64 for a low tonight. And the chance of that severe weather tomorrow rolls in with an 80% chance of thunderstorms. The National Weather Service puts this off, cutting off around 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. As I said, you know, give it an hour or so, but one is what they're saying, safe side, two o'clock if you're planning something. Hopefully it'll be out earlier, but that church time is where it's going to get there in the morning hours uh, when you're going into church and where you're getting out of church is the worst time for it. Tomorrow night, 
just a cloudy sky and a low around 44. Cooler for tomorrow night. As we roll into Monday, we do have areas of sunshine with a 20% chance of showers, that high of 68. And, of course, when we roll back into Tuesday, we'll get some more chances of rain. And don't forget, as we go in on into Wednesday night, we're looking at some 30-degree weather at nighttime. Burr. That's all I got to say about all that. I get colder these days. So uh, keep those blankets. And if you, uh, if you hadn't bought your gas lately, get up with Sanders, get your gas tank refilled. Just be on the safe side. Maybe you've got firewood. Whatever the case is, make sure all that's uh, working properly. Wanted to say good morning to uh, Brandy Priester watching this morning. God bless. Thank you for watching also. Kathy Jenkins, good morning. Praying for you all. We appreciate it. Good morning uh, to Donna Roseman. Uh, uh, Wendy Oglesby is watching. Uh, Skylar, and let me in. I don't want to mispronounce your name, but everybody knows I have a tendency to slaughter. Uh, and I'm a refree. Did I did I get close? Skyla, I'm trying real hard here. And she says the shirt looks good. It's not too bright. It has that shiny look. It does. It does stick out. You could lose me in a crowd at Walmart. I don't think. Sylvia Stewart. Good morning. Uh, today uh, today makes you feel better, but it gets better. Day two makes you feel better, but it gets better. Okay, so tomorrow will be that day with that COVID shot is what she's referring to of what I mentioned a while ago. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I had to really think twice before I took that shot. Uh, I guess it's the unknown that we don't know when you take something new like that. And I weighed out the odds, and it, it looked as though I've lost, seen so many of my friends, I'm sure you have too, that uh, have lost their lives to this COVID thing. It's nasty. And uh, if you can get sick for a couple of days, I guess it's uh, it's worth the risk of not losing your life. So there I went off into it. Uh, Denise Covington says, my shirt's pretty. Thank you, Diane. Miss Diane Holloman, uh, I hope you're doing good. Miss Diane was sick not long ago and was recovering, and I hope you're doing better. And I apologize for not calling and checking in on you because I know where you've been, what you're going through. And uh, uh, my, I send my prayers there to equipment to you, Miss Diane. I hope you're doing good. One of the best cooks you can find in Clark County, by the way, also. Uh, Miss Gail Ga uh, Gafford is watching. And I have to say a big thank you to Miss Gail. I posted a picture. Did y'all see that blueberry uh, pie that she sent to me? And maybe, I think it's called blueberry pie. It's got blueberries and had pecans in it. And she went out of her way to make that and have that sent in to me from Kemper County yesterday. And I have to say thank you. That means a lot. I appreciate that. Now all I got to do is keep Angie and everybody else away from a pie. That's the trick. Uh, also, good morning to Miss Ann Cook. Thank you, Miss Ann. I appreciate you. Uh, compliment with shirt there. Miss Barbara Vick is watching from the Moscow community. Salute to y'all today. Uh, let's see. Uh, how about Memphis, Tennessee? A lot of rain. We'll go back to Memphis here and take a look here in a moment there. Uh, good morning from Quitman to Miss Kim Valking. Kim Valking. I got tongue-tied there. Pat Banks is watching from the Macon, Mississippi area. Up in the Kentucky Fried Chicken area. Y'all remember the days when there wasn't any restaurants like that? Uh, when I was a young man, uh, when I was doing, and I mean young, radio uh, overnights, and I, d during the daytime, I was the milkman. And uh, I delivered all up through the Macon area. And there was, uh, I think there was one place back then that you could buy a biscuit, and it was downtown by the red light. I can't remember the name of it, but that was a long time ago. And there was a store up at the, uh, at the stop sign on the main drag, I think it was Mr. Bill's where you could get that great cheese that was on the right-hand side of the road. And I think it's he's been long been uh, out of business. But, boy, I remember the days of making Mississippi, going in and getting that hoop cheese and uh, eating that on my little milk route. I was the milkman. Boy, and I'm telling you, if you are a milkman, there's lots of jokes with doing that for a living. But uh, I was milkman by day and radio man by night. And uh, eventually they got to where I could do radio uh, full-time for a living. Uh, that was whew, in the 80s, uh, late 80s there when I first started in radio. And me and Elsie got up every morning at 3 a.m. and headed out <laughs> long time ago. Good morning to Linda Jane. Uh, sunshine here this morning. That's great. Here in the Meridian area, it is dark today. Ray Gafford's watching also. Tawana Lambert, good morning to you. Charlotte Gray, thanks for keeping us safe. I appreciate that. Raymond and Shirley are watching the, the Krills over here in the West Lauderdale area. We thank you. Brian Guest, morning, boss man. Morning to you, my friend there. Miss Ann McKee is watching also. She gives a good morning to everybody. Lance Dunnigan, good morning to you. Uh, and Raymond said, thank you for what you do. I appreciate it. Hopefully everybody's going to get together at Easter this year. Has everybody planned their Easter yet? I think most of us, the, the CDC, the way they're trying to uh, word this, that if you've been vaccinated, you can get together. Uh, but we plan on doing that. So I, I, I hope y'all do as well. Uh, Ann McKee says, uh, the COVID shot day two, my arm feels like it uh, caught the wild pitch at a, at a peewee baseball game. I agree. 
that uh, that first shot that I got, it was it was kind of rough there that I got uh, with uh, the very first one you get. It was really sore. Now this one's you can touch it, and it's it's but it's not anything like the very first shot. The second shot has just made me uh, just kind of. You remember the Charlie Daniels song? I want to lay around in the shade. Uh, what was the name of that? It'll come to me here in just long haired country boy. That was the name of it. But uh, that kind of how it makes you feel. Just want to lay around in the shade all day. So uh, small thoughts with this as we get into these COVID shots. And most of us are going to man up and take it. And I say that across the board. Let's not try to offend anybody that, uh, that's a lady. That's just a, a term that we use here in the South. If it's time for groceries, my friend Joe is open this morning. If you haven't been out to see Joe lately at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, drop in and see him. One of the nicest fellow that supports the community, always involved in something going on, helping out someone. See him today. You can take advantage of so many things. You need drinking water, three for $10, a case of it there. That's a bunch of it. Great product, uh, Coca-Cola. You can get three for $10. By the way, see those assorted ones there. You can get right now, what is it, the fresh tomatoes for $1.69, fresh avocados, the, the six-pack for $3.99. Three ninety nine. If you're looking for green beans, uh, let's see here the blueberries. That's been real popular this year. Also, if you're needing cooking oil, they got the West in there for two seventy nine. Not a bad deal at all. If you're looking for granulated sugar, they got that also a, a great bargain on that for dollar ninety nine a bag. And I wanted to see here. We also got some some meat also. If you're looking for top sirloin steak four eighty nine, the shoulder roast three thirty nine, sirloin and pork chop. Pork chops are really good, aren't they? And if you need something quick to feed a bunch of folks in a in a drop of a hat, hot dogs. You can get the beef or cheese hot dogs for two ninety nine. Again, that's all at the Pig Collinsville. You can see Joe. He'll help you there. Pick out exactly what you need. Now let's go back to radar before we wind up today and, and just take another look at what uh, what we've got shaking loose here. Again, we're expecting some showers uh, in the East Mississippi and West Alabama to begin after 1 o'clock this afternoon. As we go to radar, let me pull this up over here and show you what I'm looking at. Again, the Memphis area, most of the worst, uh, I was asked about Memphis. Memphis has showers this morning, but it has moved to the, uh, the east of Memphis there, as you'll look at that across there. Uh, we got some just north of Collierville. Right along in there. And, of course, that uh, that's where Liesl Harris was from in this area right here, the, the rodeo clown. Uh, pictures of him everywhere in every store you go up there. Lakeland has got some rain. It's mainly going off to the east. Our big concern, again, the further you get over here uh, near Murfreesboro, Tennessee, is where the worst of the rain and thunderstorms are this morning. So keep everybody your thoughts up here in this area in Murfreesboro. Right now we're looking good in Mississippi other than the fog due south of us down on the coast stretching along in there. We're, we're sitting pretty for today. Uh, and uh, we'll get some showers before it's all said and done. And we need a break on all of this pollen. Aren't y'all in agreement with that? Wouldn't you like for that stuff to be washed away and it not come back? We still got a little bit, so uh, we're hoping that it gets, uh, gets on out of here. Uh, let's see. Nancy Clark said, uh, good morning. Thank you for all the updates. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Lawanda Grantham, uh, we never stopped getting uh, together. My daughter would not. Said, there you go. And we're talking about Easter, of staying together and uh, celebrating. Uh, when will the rain stop? My grass needs to be cut before Easter Sunday. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a, a good question on that because you get into – Tuesday, we got a 30% chance. We jumped to Tuesday night, 30%. We move into Wednesday, a 70% chance. I've got your answer here. As we go into Wednesday night, a 50% chance. And again, it's going to be like 37, 38 that night. Thursday, can I get an amen and a hallelujah from the choir? We hit to sunshine in 60. And by Friday, sunshine in 65 for a high. So not too bad. You can get the grass cut there before Easter rolls in. Maybe uh, – Thursday, Friday, or Saturday there, if it'll dry out enough to get those lawnmowers. That's the next thing that you got. Lawnmowers weigh so much more than they used to. Uh, when you go out there, they get to spin. And how many of us have had to pull them out with a truck? I know I have several times. Uh, they just go to spinning and go down. You can't you can't stop it. <laughs> Let's see here. Lynn Swade said, my shirt looks comfy. It is. It is soft. Angie done good on that. I'll give, I'll give her credit on that. Uh, Linda Culpepper, good morning, and have a wonderful day. Dustin Stewart is up. Also, and uh, I do appreciate all the comments. We do appreciate that. And, uh, again, that gets you by, lets you know what's going on in your neck of the woods. Should we have some severe weather in the overnight hours and into tomorrow, uh, we'll come back on live. Now, and I want to say this, I may do some testing today. Uh, I'm going to be expanding. Um, what we do now is we're always live on Facebook when we go, and then we upload the whatever we do to uh, 
YouTube and all minutes later after it shuts down. So today I may be doing some testing to get Facebook and uh, YouTube live at the same time because there are a few folks that do not have Facebook uh, that, that can't reach us this way that just don't know how to operate it and everybody can go to, uh, I think it's on comes most on every phone, a, a YouTube account where you can just type in Scotty Ray and it'll pull it up. So I'm going to be expanding that hopefully today and I may have to do come on do a little test there. Um, and, and try that. So I may interrupt uh, your, your afternoon to say howdy once or twice to see if we've got the feed worked out. I'm going to try that uh, and see how that goes. So thank you. Again, a big thank you to every sponsor that stays with us through this. They're hometown folks. If you see their, their logo up there in the right-hand corner, when you can, they probably go to church with you in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, I know most of these people, uh, known them for years, good folks, part of the community, and uh, just keep all our money uh, within uh, amongst each other. How's that for a term? think so. We appreciate that, and uh, I'll be back later on as the day progresses to keep you up to date with the latest news that happens around the nation. Should something happen, we'll get that posted so you'll know about it first, and always the weather. Thanks a bunch, and uh, we'll be back here at Scotty Ray's Weather. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by... 